Hello, Jess Too Good here, and what I have is a package unboxing as well as a very small store haul. So this is, like I said, I've wanted for, well, you guys will probably know what it is by the size and judging by the time of this. These are Lego store orders that I forgot about. <laughs> this was like ordered back in March around Easter or something, and I think I got it for a promo or something. So I don't really remember what's in here. Like, it's not anything super expensive. But uh, let's open up the big boy first. Uh, I don't make too many shop at home orders usually, but of course with this whole crisis going on, it's really the best way to buy Lego. Not going in the stores, especially at the time I bought those other ones, but also just because a lot of Lego stores here don't have new stuff, and this is a new thing. Oh, yes, oh my gosh. Oh, you can see it. It is the Lego haunted house of 2020, the fairground haunted house. <laughs> just to have a Lego haunted house in my hands. Ooh, dream come true. I always say that, but it's true. <laughs> and I'm fortunate enough to buy stuff like this because you guys keep watching. So this whole thing is a dream come true. But anyways, you got a little beach poly bag, which you're gonna see again in this haul. And this, which this is, uh, I forgot what it's called, I think it's the hub box. So to motorize the haunted house, you need two motors, the batteries for the motors, which I, I think they're like triple A's, or maybe this one takes triple A's, and then this hub box. This hub box is like 50 bucks, which is a lot. And then the two motors, I think, go for 18 each or something. Which brings me to the next haul. This little bag. So there's a second beach poly bag. This was actually not a part of uh, this haul, but this was a part of when I bought like a random mon monkey kid set that I wanted to review, so I didn't cover it in a haul. But uh, inside this bag, one motor and the second motor. So. I can't wait to build the haunted house. I can't guarantee a full review because this might be a lot. And I know like Brick Fault and Jang have done very detailed reviews already. But when I'm done building it, at the very least, I will do a quick review because I'm like, oh, well, I could do a little quickie of this one and it won't take too much time. I have a lot of other stuff coming. So I'm really looking forward to building this. I'm not sure when though because part of me now just kind of wants to save it for the Halloween time, but I'm not entirely sure. So. Getting that out of the way, now let's take a look at those packages I forgot about. Next box, let's open this up. It always has the packaging slip, come on. Sorry, I don't wanna like dox my butt, but anyway. Inside, we have, oh yeah, these. Yeah, okay, so I own like one of these and I never did anything with it, but I'm like, Screw it, let me take a second look at these or somebody pointed something out. These actually kind of rock. So anyways, these are series two. So these were, I, I still haven't seen these in stores really, but uh, these released in spring. These are really cool. I mean, sure, I could get most of them on bricks and pieces, but you get a random animal. And I think one of them, they don't show it on here, but one of them has a new alpaca piece. So I wanted that and the prints and stickers on these kind of rock. Like I love this little, uh, it's it's a movie theater kind of design for uh, freaking Mia. It's been so long since I've gotten to the Friends theme, so forgetting their names, oh no. But you can see there's a menu sticker, really cool kind of sticker on this panel here, even though it's kind of gonna be stuck on that cube. You got some of the popcorn pieces. I like her uh, exclusive print of the 3D glasses, even though it's a mini doll. So that's interesting. This one has kind of a candy design uh, with that sticker there, some goodies, just interesting pieces and builds. And they're all kind of store based, which I love getting store type builds and everything. Let me see what else I got. Oh yeah, okay, so that's why I made this purchase when they were running a VIP promo of the Droid Boost little set. Shout out to the guy. There was a guy in one of the Lego stores down here. You probably know who you are. He offered to give this to me for free back I don't know, last, uh, I guess when it first came out, so December 2018, around that time, this thing skyrocketed in price. It became like, I don't know, a hundred bucks on eBay. But then very recently, they made it uh, a VIP promo that if you make a purchase and you put in some VIP points, you get it. So that's what I ended up doing. 
But that guy was about to give it to me for free, even with how expensive it was. So I, I think that guy, but no worries. I got one now. You can keep your copy. So that's it for this box. For the next box, let's uh, open it up. And this one, I may have went a little bit crazy on these VIP things. I've never done the VIP promos before. And the new VIP system sucks because you got to like redeem points instead of, you can't use it at the checkout, which was like the easiest thing. You gotta go online and redeem points and then it's like always a problem. So this was another promo. I was like, screw it. Let me get like the only Lego Stranger Things official product that isn't that San Diego Comic-Con exclusive that isn't the upside down set. And it's a little notebook. So this was interesting as a promo. So that's just something I'll probably keep sealed or something for years to come. There's a, uh, Two more of these cubes. So this is still series two. This is a toy store. Again, really interesting stickers with the 50% off. Uh, some cool builds. And this one, not sure again, which animals come in each. I'm gonna probably do, I don't know. Do you guys wanna see individual reviews of these? I guess you guys don't really care about friends. So I'll, I'll probably do like one video, just opening these up, seeing which ones I get and kind of looking through them. And this one is, uh, shopping play cube oh okay it's it's a it's a pet shop that's really cool so nice little print or sticker over here and another sticker over here with a little hamster on it yeah very cool little i, I like these little shop cubes uh, i think there's a oh no yeah so the deal with this was there's some from series one that i want i only got one random one from series one but there's a few more from series one that i want and those already sold out <laughs> so i gotta go scouting for them at walmart or something but i guess i'll probably open some of the series two ones at this point i should just got all of series two right so i'm missing two of them maybe i'll have to look into that but uh that's it for the whole let me line up everything so we have the haunted house which i cannot wait to build the equipment to make it motorized those four play cubes, which I'm just tempted to just get the rest of series two now and do a big video on it. The droid boost, as well as these two city promo poly bags and the Stranger Things notebook. So that's it for this haul. My first shop at home haul in a while because I've been saving that up. I guess, I mean, the other order was that one monkey kid set, but I don't really count that as a haul. But I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.